In this video, I will show you how to fix your high ping in Roblox. So with Roblox, you actually have a ping counter and you want to make sure you can get this as low as possible. The lower the ping, the better the gameplay is going to be. You're going to experience a more smoother, fast gameplay. So this is actually a kind of follow-up tutorial to a similar tutorial I did about one year ago. Uh, the reason I wanted to do this is because since that tutorial, Roblox has done a couple of updates, which unfortunately means some of the older methods in that old tutorial are now invalid and they won't work. But I have been looking around and I found some other things you can try. So make sure to stick around and follow along with me. Try these methods and see if we can get your ping down. So the first thing you're going to actually want to do is load up Roblox. And the reason being is because I'm going to show you how to actually see your ping. So what you can do is actually use this, try a method and see, obviously by checking this, if the ping does increase. So to actually see your ping, what you want to do is load up any game on Roblox. So I'm just going to go for Brookhaven for this tutorial. So what we're going to do from here is just start the game up. So I'm going to go ahead and click play. So you can see I'm moving about. My uh, gameplay is quite good. It's quite a smooth experience. And to actually find your ping, what you want to do is come up to the Roblox icon. So if you come up here to the top left hand corner and then go ahead and click the Roblox icon. And what you want to do is click onto settings up here. And then from here, you just want to come down and locate where it says performance stats and then go ahead and click the arrow to turn this on. Simply come out of this menu now by pressing escape or resume. And if you look to the top right hand corner, you will see your ping counter. So at the moment, I've got mine averaging around 100 megs. Sometimes it does drop below that, which is actually a very, very good ping. Um, initially, it was about two to 300, but choosing the techniques in my older tutorial and the techniques I'm about to share with you, I did actually manage to reduce that down. So what I'm going to do is go through those with you now and the first thing I'm going to discuss with you about is basically other devices connected to your Wi-Fi. So if you have any other phones or laptops or things like that that are being connected to the Wi-Fi, just bear in mind this can actually affect your gameplay speed and you might experience some lag in and jump in and stuff like this. Of course if you're downloading stuff as well on other devices that can also have an impact. Second thing I want to talk to you about is using a VPN. So a VPN basically changes your server and by doing this, this can actually change your ping in the process as well. So there's a couple of free ones out there. One that I actually use is called Proton and that's completely free to use. So you can give that a try as well to see if that helps with your ping. As I say, as you try these methods, just keep an eye on your ping, keep going back and checking your ping after the methods and see if it does affect it and make it drop down. And the third method I want to talk to you about is basically just plugging directly into your router. So if you're using like a laptop or a PC and you're quite close to your internet router, if you normally use a wireless connection, if you actually go ahead and just plug your laptop directly into the router box, this can actually have an impact and actually increase your speed as well. Another thing you can do is actually speak to your ISP, your internet service provider, and just see if they can run some speed tests. A lot of them are more than happy to do this. If you just say you're experiencing poor speeds, they can normally run a few tests and make a few tweaks to try and increase the speed of your Wi-Fi connection. And the final thing I want to talk to you guys about is to do with background apps, so apps that are running in the background. So what I mean by this is if I come out of Roblox and what you want to do if you're on a Windows PC is come down to the search bar down here and then just go ahead and type task manager in here and then you want to open up the task manager app like so. So you want to make sure you're on the full view of the task manager app. So to do this if you've got the task manager and it's only showing something like this if you look down at the bottom, you've got this more details with a down arrow. So you want to give that a click to get the full screen up like so. And then from here, you'll see some options on the top of the window. So from here, you want to look for the one that says details and go and give that a click. And what you want to do is sort this by memory. So memory is what your computer and laptop uses. So if you've got things running, then it uses memory. The more things you've got running, the more memory it uses, the more it's going to affect sort of the performance of your PC or laptop and in turn apps and games you play. 
So what you want to do is come to this memory option, give it a click to make sure that it's sorted from high to low. So you can see this is zero. So we want to actually click it again and we can just go through and just basically close down anything that we're not currently using, stuff that's running in the background. So a good example of certain things you might be looking for is like Steam, Discord, Spotify, a couple of things like that. Normally if you've got like cleaners, like I have here, ccleaner64.exe, you can see that's using 7,000 of memory and anything you want to close down you simply highlight right click and click on to end task and then click end process this is going to remove it and free up some memory and in turn that's going to help your ping so as i say try those methods after each method just keep going back and checking your ping seeing if it does make a difference if you want to try out some of the older methods you can do but as i say a lot of them are invalid but you can find that older video on my channel as well so I hope this video helped you out today and if it did then I would really appreciate if you did leave a like and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials for everything tech and digital related. With that being said I just want to take a moment to thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in the next tutorial.